George, congratulations. Coming into this fight, the questions people had were not could you win, but what round were you going to get knocked out in? How did you pull off this upset victory? Did I change your week? Have I changed my whole career? Never. I believed in myself, I backed myself, and I said it time after time. You might not believe me, but I believe in myself. And look at me now, I got all the jewels. I'm not the king. You got your four kings. I'm the emperor, because I come to every other country and I take them out, one by one. Listen, all respect to him, all respect to him. Thank you, New York City, Madison Square Garden. I love you all. Walk me through the first round, because you promised coming in that you were going to fight fire with fire. And it wasn't Lopez that knocked you down first. It was you knocking down Lopez. Look, Customer, I said, I said a great saying when Muhammad Ali fought Joe Fraser, an unbelievable puncher in Joe Fraser. And Muhammad Ali ran Customer and said, What do I do? Because you hit him with the best right hand you've ever thrown in your life in the first round, and you changed the fight. And that's what I did. I had that in my head, my mentality. I said, I'm going to hit this guy clean, I'm going to hit him hard, and I put him to, I'm going to put him down. And the, the fight changed after that. The overhand right, as you said, that was there for you most of this night. Was there something that you saw on film from Teofimo that showed you he was open to that shot? Man, my, my, my trainers, both my trainers, Mick Avio, Avio, Mick, we worked unbelievable in this camp. You know, it was a long, hard camp. It was never my fault. I wanted to forehead ice up. But you know what? Every day I got better and better and better and better. And I learned more and more. And I, I didn't take my foot off the pedal. Here we are. If you, ever want, if, if you don't believe in yourself, you won't get this far. For anyone out there, back yourself. Believe in yourself, and you can do it too. You, all, all respect to Teofimo. He's a great kid. The build-up was the build-up. We're both competitive young guys. But uh, it was my night, and it's going to be my night for a very long time. I'm the emperor. Those middle rounds, in those middle rounds, you seem to take control. And then in the 10th round, you got caught. What happened on that punch, and what was going through your mind over the last minute plus of that round? You know, listen, I was trying to entertain the fans too much. I'm, I'm an unbelievable boxer. They can't believe how good I, I box. You know, my defense, my movement. Too sharp, too fast, too strong. My condition and my stamina, unbelievable. But I tried to entertain the crowd a little bit too much. Got excited a little bit too much, I got caught. But you know what? What a warrior. Got back up against all odds and still finished the fight and won the next round. Listen, this is for my kids, but my grandfather, George Cambosis, passed away two months ago. My family, my, my, my grandfather, I know he's in here with, in the ring with me right now. I mean, this, this, he said it. And, and, and my whole family, my family that's here, for everyone, you know, my, my father. When you got George, when, George, when you, when you got back, when you got back into the corner after that 10th round, how hurt were you and what was your mindset going into the last two? I wasn't hurt. I, I looked at my, my team, my coach, I said, nothing. Let's go hard. The next two rounds, I'm going to punish this kid. And I won the, I won the next two rounds. No problem. That's, that's the kind of fight I'm a warrior. But listen, all respect to him. He's a, he's a great champion. He beat the great Vasil Lomachenko. But I'm, I'm the better fighter. And I told you, I'll be better, better every step of the way. Is this, in your mind, the biggest win in Australian boxing history? Look at me. Greatest. I'm the greatest fighter in Australian history, and that's no disrespect. I've got all the belts. The greatest Australian hey, listen. fighter in history. Listen, you're a true champ. Forget well, the rest. Hey, yo, yo, yo. You got, hey, hell of a fighter, but I won tonight, man. Everybody know that. The referee raised my hand. I won tonight. I don't care what anybody says, yo. I won tonight. We hey, again. at we the end again. of the day, at the end of the day, I've been here. I've done that. I want to thank God. I want to thank everybody that came out tonight. Look, I ain't no sore loser. I take my wins like I take my losses. At the end of the day, man, I'm a true champion. I came out here. I did what I had to do. And I went out there and I did my best. Yo, I don't care what anybody says, man. I am as well as they come. And watch, this is the takeover, man. We don't stop. We keep coming. Yo, at the end of the day, man, I love you all. I won this fight. Teofimo, you, you believe coming in that no. you were going to be able to end this fight early. You get knocked down in the first round. What was your mindset going back to the corner? It's good. Good shot. All right. Time to wake up. Time to do the thing what I got to do. After that, man, it was a, it is what it is. It's boxing. But you know what, man? I know what it is. I know how these people work. Referee knew I won tonight. Everybody won, knew I won tonight. And I'm just thankful. Did you believe this was a close fight going into those last two rounds? No, I don't. I don't believe it was a close fight at all. I believe that at the end of it all, I score it. I score it 11-2. Well, 11, uh, 10 2. You believed you won 10 of the 12 rounds? Yes, I did. George? Listen, you got to move up, bro, because 
You're a bit delusional, brother. All right. Listen, I got the belts. I won the fight. I won it clean and clear. Look at your face. But you know what? I give you respect. I came here. I gave you the, the respect in the ring, and I won the fight. I got the belts. Take it like a champ. Move on. We do it again in Australia. 80,000 people. Me and you, brother. What a war we'll have in Australia. Let's do it again. Dafimo just doing it again in Australia. Appeal to you. Right now, I'm gonna go back to my, go back to the drawing board. I'm gonna spend time with my son. I haven't spent time with my boy in a long time. I mean, he was just born 11 days ago, and that's really what matters to me. Family, man. Hey, to everybody, I apologize in advance, man, to all those. I wanted to be the inspiration for all of them, for the new generation, and I still am, man. Everything happens for its reasons. I believe in God, man. I have faith in him. I, I ain't scared about this, and I ain't sad about this. Teofimo, you have nothing to apologize for. That was a tremendous fight one way or the other. But do you feel this should be your last fight at 135? I've been feeling this for two years now, man. They've been, they've been draining me the whole time, man. It is what it is. Like, I, I stood here when I should have just dropped the belts like everybody else did when they, won, when they won all the belts, man. But no excuses, man. I don't want everybody to boo and shit like that, man. I come clean with this shit. At the end of the day, I love you all. Thank you to all my sponsors. Thank you to my endorsements. I appreciate you all. And this ain't the end of Teofimo Lopez. This is just the beginning. Absolutely not, George. If Teofimo's not available, what do you want to do next? Listen, uh, mutual respect with me and Devin Haney. I, look, I wish him all the best next week. See how I feel. I'll probably be there. But, um, you know, I'm just focused to, to go enjoy. You know, my three kids, and I want to grieve my grandfather because I didn't have the chance to grieve my grandfather. He passed away two months ago. Another chance. And listen, I want, I want him to enjoy his son. You know, that's the most important thing. Forget all this. Forget this. this. Our kids are the most important thing, okay? Well, congratulations on the win, and congratulations to both of you on a tremendous fight. Todd? Well, Sergio, you heard Cambosis say to Lopez, you're delusional. I think the telling moment was when, when Tiafimo Lopez said, listen, everyone knows I won this fight. 90% of the people here were cheering for Lopez coming in. They all booed him after he said that.